Hi there, it's Megan here again. In this Learn to Monetize More video tutorial, we're going to teach you how to target ad units to each section of your site. If you've been following our first 10 videos, you're now familiar with planning a campaign in DFP and creating crucial ad units. This time, we give more precision to your ad units by targeting them according to the different sections of your website. This will allow you to harness DFP's full reporting power and granular controls by segmenting your ad inventory. Are you ready? Let's begin. There are three primary ways to segment your inventory in DFP. The first is the most basic way, which is through placements. The second way is a bit more complicated, which is by labeling your ad units by section. And the third, most advanced way to segment your inventory is through key values. Because key values are an advanced feature, they merit their own discussion, and we'll cover them in a later tutorial. Since placements are the simplest way to target your ads by section, we'll start there. Placements are groupings of ad units targeted in a manner that's appealing to advertisers. Although placements are a mechanism intended to attract advertisers, they also work well for the internal purpose of segmenting your ad inventory. For example, if you have a beauty section on your site, creating a placement of that section may appeal to beauty supply companies because their target audience is likely to browse that section. So, let's log into DFP and navigate to the Inventory tab and then click Placements on the left-hand panel. Let's now click Placement and then enter a placement name. For our purposes, we'll use OurSite.com Beauty section. This description gives advertisers an idea of the nature of the placement. Once it's finished, let's now click Save. Of course, you'd then proceed forward to name the rest of the sections of your site. Once created, you may incorporate both existing and new ad units into these placements. To assign existing ad units to a placement, let's navigate to the Inventory tab and click Add Units on the left-hand panel. Click the ad unit you'd like to assign to placement, and then go to Placements and click Edit. Now click Add next to the placements you'd like to associate with the ad unit. The placements you add will appear below the selected items. Now click Save. We'll now move on to our secondary method of targeting ads by section. Though it takes a bit more work, we can do it by creating a multitude of ad units that are segmented by section. So, if we only have three ad units per page, yet have five sections, we would create 15 ad units. Thus, you'll want to use a spreadsheet to list all the ad units you'll want to create. For our purposes, we are then going to name these ads by using the following system. Site underscore section underscore position underscore size. So, we'll now create some of those ad units. First, let's create our site, home, top, 300 by 250. Then, let's create our site, news, mid, 728 by 90. Lastly, let's create our site, sports, mid, 728 by 90. We then need to create all these ad tags within our ad network, which in our example would be in AdX or AdSense. We covered that topic in an earlier video. When all our tags are ready, we then need to create an order in DFP. We then create the line items and add the creatives. Lastly, you can now generate a report in DFP to show revenue and impression count based on your segmentation to show per section earnings. We hope you enjoyed our video today. Stay tuned for more updates by subscribing to our blog and YouTube channel. Bye, and we hope to see you again soon.